last topic and then we're done but this is really important topic you would enjoy this topic so let's see the last topic is how does a macrophage sit in the tissue and how does it become active and detaches from the tissue so very very interesting phenomena very important phenomena let's see how it works and that is our last topic as well so you should be happy that here the lecture is finishing I am happy <laughs> so here it is macrophages this is just funny so let's say these are some cells these are cells some cell connective tissue endothelium some cells there comes a macrophage that big dude that comes here sits down onto the cells now keep keep an eye on this discussion this is a very important discussion I have to really go and read a lot of books and lot of areas to collect this material from you I have not produced this material so it is not mine but I do go and figure it out and bring it and make it try to make it easy for you so check this out macrophage is here when the macrophage appears on a tissue what it does is it throws out integrins remember integrins are those dimeric proteins they are present on the endothelial surface as well for neutrophil and monocyte uh, adherence to the endothelium for the uh, rolling and, and slowing down same integrins are here these integrins are used to attach to the to the tissue that is how the macrophages become resident they go and land on the tissue and grab it how do they grab the tissue they grab the tissue with these integrins but there is a fun thing which happens here I love it it's such a beautiful thing so now what happens is let's say the macrophages have attached to the tissue these integrins these integrins cause just by presence these are chemical substances so their presence causes tumor growth factors alpha to become activated TGF why do I so I have a it's now confirmed I have some sort of a dyslexia so TGF beta so tumor growth factor beta becomes active when the integrins are present now here is a funny thing macrophage has a receptor on its surface for tumor growth factors beta so when the tumor growth factor beta becomes active it goes and it sits down here onto its receptors on the macrophage that causes that causes second messenger system to become active inside the macrophage and that then causes a down regulation of macrophage activities it causes the down regulation of lysosomal enzyme production it causes down regulation of the phagocytosis it causes down regulation of the macrophage activity very important thing please remember it look at this when a macrophage sits so let's say this is alveolar macrophage sitting on the alveolus so the tissue in the lungs when the macrophage sits in there this is a dust cell it re, it puts the launching pads on the ground which are the integrins integrins when they help the macrophage connect with the tissue they also do one more activity and that is they activate the tumor growth factor beta once the tumor growth factor beta is activated that factor is going to go and get attached here on the receptor on the macrophage that is why it is very important for you to remember that macrophage has a TGF beta receptor on it okay so once that receptor is activated it sends a signal down inside the macrophage and the macrophage activities are down regulated good so now this macrophage has landed on the tissue shut down the engines and it is sleeping good it has become a resident macrophage waiting for an event now what's going to happen 
check this out this is funny so here comes a funny pathogen that could be a virus so let's say it's a happy virus you know just running around saying hey i'm here or a or a funny bacteria jumping around saying hey i'm here right so these these guys are just jumping around having fun all of a sudden the macrophage is doll like receptor is going to recognize the bacteria right <laughs> it's going to recognize the bacteria as soon as that happened now do not forget this i i really had to find this out as soon as it touches the bacteria or the pathogen and this this receptor becomes activated with the cd14 remember cd14 and the cd14 and tlr tlrx it could be tlr2 or tlr4 that sends another signal inside the macrophage which causes which causes what it causes the um the what was that protein it starts the actin it starts the actin to become active that actin activity then in turn causes the integrins to be taken back and further integrins are not produced once these are taken back the tumor growth factor beta becomes down regulated so the whole cycle is reversed now integrins are taken back tumor growth factor beta is down regulated that causes the receptor stimulation to go away that causes the reduction in macrophage activity to go away so what was the macrophage activity the macrophage activity is to do phagocytosis macrophage activity is to produce cytokines so we had suppressed it by putting the tumor growth factor on it so as soon as we take that off macrophage is free it's going to take the launching pads off is now active and doing function and what is the function phagocytosis so is going to start eating these guys and it's going to start secreting these cytokines tumor necrosis factor interleukin 6 and so on so that is how a resident macrophage experiences or finds out a pathogen and becomes active very very important thing so it is the integrin which causes the macrophage to become dormant or it is the absence of integrin which causes the macrophage to become active and then we know that if we have gamma interferon then the activity becomes hyperactivity and what is that more messenger rna more phagocytosis more lysosomal uh, uh, enzyme production and increase rate of phagocytosis and uh, tissue breakdown or the digestion in the macrophage so that is our big cell macrophage i hope that you liked it we will see you next time thank you